Recently, in one of the comments of one of my videos, a subscriber asked me to do basically how I can control or how do you control recoil better, making a video on it. And so that's what I'm going to do here today. I'm not going to show every single um, gun. I'm just going to show you in firing range just some quick little tips that you can do to uh, make it a little bit easier on yourself. So if you enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe, coming over to the streams. If you need a controller or something dope like this, you know, give you a little look ski. You already know. Okay. But so essentially pay attention to the, to the controller on the right hand part of the screen here too. If you need to, um, essentially the guns don't have a, a ton of recoil in this game. If, if you just, if you just let it go, it goes up a little bit. You don't have to do too much. So essentially with almost every gun, you want to slightly pull down on your thumbstick. I'm not doing it here as you can as you can see, but I'll do it on this one. If you just slightly pull it down a little bit, the recoil already gets a lot easier. And uh, once you sort of practice that over time, that gets easier. You want to start incorporating strafes as well. Here's it with the Havoc. The Havoc has a, a good amount of recoil in the game. It goes up and then it kind of circulates and then goes up again. So if you just kind of pull down slightly and go in the opposite direction. So this one is going up goes to the right then goes to the left type of thing if you pull down slightly and then just move your your stick a little bit left and right it'll even out and you'll get a nice pretty much very easily controllable recoil it does take time in practice but another main thing when it comes to recoil in this game is knowing how to recoil smooth and what that means is when you're strafing left and right you actually get less uh recoil in the game so, for instance, if I'm just here and I shoot and control the recoil, that's one thing. But if I shoot and I aim or if I strafe left or right as I'm shooting, it negates recoil. So it's a lot easier to control. So whenever you're shooting in this game, you definitely want to make sure that you're moving back and forth, which is going to, again, smoothen out the aim. It's called aim smoothing or I think it, there might be a better term for it. But again, if I'm just sitting here, that's that's still not not bad but if i if i add strafing to it, it it just negates recoil a little bit um so if i'm standing still from back here it's it's a little bit difficult it's hard but then if you incorporate some strafes okay the start of that wasn't a very good example but it just takes practice making sure you're moving left and right while while shooting is going to negate that recoil and then the other major thing too is basically whatever aim response curve you're on is going to play a factor in this as well if you're still playing on classic which is the default response curve you're going to have to do more movements on your thumb compared to if you're on something linear which is more of a raw input i play on more of a linear feel which is more raw so i don't if you're watching the controller on the screen, it doesn't look like I'm moving the thumbstick that much, but because I'm not, because on linear, you don't have to move the controller, the thumbstick all that much. And uh, basically that's all you really have to do to control recoil in this game. And that's for every gun. That was the, the Havoc and the, the R301. I'll just pick up a, a car real quick and the flat line, just a, one more little example. And then I'll get out of your hair and uh, that, that's just going to be it for the video. It's, it's very simple. I've got no attachments, but but extended mags on. I know it's firing range as well, so people are going to be like, well, it's firing range. You're not doing much. I understand. This is just to show how I control recoil and just how to make things a little bit easier on yourself. So just making sure you're incorporating those left and right strafes. If you're, by, if you're just standing here, that's one thing. But, uh... Yeah, just moving left and right reduces recoil in the game. Some people still don't know that, but it is it is a thing. And uh, I hope for the subscriber that was looking for this, or if anyone out there is looking for a little bit of a little bit of help in this department, that this does help you. And uh, I'm not gonna prolong the video any further. Appreciate anyone that did watch. Had any tips? You want to know anything else about the game? Let me know. I'll try and make a video on it. And, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next one.